in my day-to-day -day activities, as I'm interacting with people, am I building a relationship? Am I building trust? Am I delivering value? If you're doing those things and you're doing them consistently, the money will come. The money will come. There's, a, there's the, the guy that runs the bike department at Dick's, his name is Chris, runs the bike department at Chris is at uh, Dick's, is phenomenal. As a matter of fact, I'm the bougie type that will buy all of my gear from Specialized where I bought the bike, right? It's made for the bike, it's their, it's their brand, it's reliable, I know it's gonna fit, and all of those things, okay? Except, Specialized was closed that day. And I wanted all my gear uh, anyway, so I thought I'll stop by Dick's and just kind of check things out, right? As I'm grabbing things off the shelf, okay, I think I'm gonna grab this, I think I'm gonna grab this. Chris, the sales guy, comes around the corner, and he says, hey, how's it going? I said, great, man. I said, we just got electric bikes. You know, I'm all excited about it. I'm gearing up. And he goes, what's that seat doing in your, in your, in your uh, cart? <laughs> and I go, well, we've ridden about 60 miles in the last two days and my ass hurts. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, get rid of that seat. You don't want to, you don't want to change the seat. The seat is specifically designed for that bike. Okay. And, and if you put a new seat on, it, change, it just changes the dynamics. And are you sore when you first go to the gym? Well, yeah. And he goes, yeah, your ass isn't used to being on a seat and pedaling away, right? Give it some time, go easy at it, and it'll be fine, right? And then, and then he's looking through my cart and he goes, hey, what, what, what is this? Right? So here's my point. Never sold me. He never sold me. But he asked about our experience. He asked about what we like to do made some suggestions and actually told me yeah we don't carry we don't carry in the store this particular product but you could probably find it on amazon here's what to search for and i said well hold on chris you've been so incredibly helpful wouldn't it be better if i ordered it is it something that dick sporting goods carries online that i could have shipped he goes oh yeah actually they do right in other words Chris facilitated and created an environment and delivered so much value that even though he was telling me to go get a product from another store, I wanted to continue to do, I wanted to reward him by doing business with him. Does that make sense? So again, what I'm highlighting a lot of this stuff for and a lot of this stuff for is to, is to get you into the mindset of in my day-to-day -day activities, as I'm interacting with people, Am I building a relationship? Am I building trust? Am I delivering value? If you're doing those things and you're doing them consistently, the money will come. The money will come. Because who would you rather do business with? Someone that is a relative unknown or someone that you feel a great deal of connection, trust, and you feel like you kind of owe them something because of the value that they've delivered, right? What you're invoking is actually a, what's called the law of reciprocity. When you deliver value consistently, people will feel compelled to work with and use your product or service. Does that make sense?